Hey guys, I'm going to do my best to teach you everything that I can about Twitter. I only uh, joined about a month ago, so with my limited knowledge, I'll do what I can. So the first thing you're going to do is sign up. Mm. Did I need my phone number? So put in your information. So we're going to put that in Twitter and make a password. Done. Okay, so it does help to have a photo. And you can write a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm going to skip the contacts thing. Let's pick a few things. Politics is good. It'll suggest people for me to follow. I don't really want to do that right now. I don't want notifications all the time. Okay, so I'm brand new on Twitter. What am I going to do? I am going to tweet. So this is how you tweet using a laptop. Mariana is going to upload a version for the cell phone app. So what's happening? So I'm going to tweet using this hashtag. Now it's super, super, super important. I cannot say this enough. Spell the hashtag properly. There are some people who have spelt it wrong. They have taken the I out. Prioritize. And it's not going to show up the same way. So it needs to be spelled properly. Prioritize family sponsorship like check it over make sure it's right but that's not all you're doing you're not just sharing this hashtag please do not ever 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 leave it like this you need to include some content and it has to be unique do not copy paste anything from anyone including yourself copy paste not okay that will not get us in the top trending for anything if we're copying and pasting the same thing. So I'm going to write um, and so you can say pretty much anything you want. You can talk about your story, you can talk about your thoughts, how this affects you. Just try and be really creative. It's good to get ideas from other people posting as well. Um, if you're talking specifically to someone, it's important to tag them. So you go at sign and then type in their name. Marco Mendicino. See, he shows up first when I start typing his name. Now I spelled his name correctly, so he's going to show up. But maybe I want the news involved too. So I'm going to think, who's my local news reporters? I got CBC Edmonton. Look, they exist. I've got CTV Edmonton. Um, let's say I'm not sure if the Edmonton Journal is on here. So I'll type that in. 
It is. So notice that it shows more than one. So Edmund Yeg. I don't know if that's legitimate, but I'm going to pick the first one because it's verified. It has a check mark beside it, so it's verified. Um, so this, these are news people that you could tag. This is Marco. We want him to be the main person that we tag in here. But I also, I also want to say more. I want to say we've been asking. So if I keep going, help us. I can't say help us. But maybe I really, really, really wanted to say help us. So I'm going to try and change some words to give myself more room. So instead of government, I'm writing gov apostrophe t. That's an abbreviated form of government. So now I have three letters left to use. Uh, you can kind of play around a little bit. You'll notice people on Twitter um, they'll reword things in such a way that still makes sense, but also allows them to say more all at once. So now I can have three exclamation points. Woo! I did it. Okay. Prior prioritize family sponsorship. Okay. So that's my first tweet. This is exciting. Now who's going to see my tweet? How do we know that anyone has seen this and is going to do anything with it? Um, one way to check is click the hashtag. You will see everybody who tweets this or has been tweeted this. So the good thing is Justin, Marco, and IRCC, those poor suckers are the victims of our hashtag. If you look here, these are the top posts for this hashtag. So Cameron has a very beautiful, sad tweet, and I want a heart because we want to bring more attention to it and keep it at the top. But I also want to retweet. So there's two options. You can retweet or you can retweet with a comment. I'm going to show you retweet right now. So it looks like nothing happened. But if you go back... You'll see on my home page, I retweeted this. So it doesn't say my name on it because it's not my tweet. It was his tweet originally, I just retweeted. So I have my first post and I have my first retweet on here. Um, another way to look up the hashtags is to search. So I can search here. Apparently there's a person with our hashtag name, but I wanted to look up the hashtag. So again, we can look at the top ones. These are all really good. This one has 52. That's awesome. And here's our friend Charles. And here's my other account. Um, something else you can do is look at the latest. This is super important when we're doing a Twitter storm. Click on the latest tweets with this hashtag and you will see the most recent ones. These are the people participating in the storm the same time you are. So here's an example of somebody who is pretty new, I think. So you can look over top of their profile You'll see they have followers and they're following people. We want to look like we're real people. So the more people you follow and the more people you have following you, the better you look, the more legitimate you look. If you are just a newbie and you don't follow anyone and nobody's following you, they don't know you exist, then you look like a bot. You look like some program that was created that's not a real person, and we don't want that. We want people to know that we're real. So I'm going to go ahead and follow this member. And I'm going to follow this member. This is where I find everyone in our campaign who's doing the same thing as us. I find them all, and I follow them all. 
So now because I made a new account, this is going to be my retweet account. It, in case my first account gets deactivated, I'll hop on over to this account that I'm showing you. And I'll start tweeting from here. So, oh, thank you showing us to spell the right hashtag. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. There's prioritize without the I, and then there's prioritize with the I. It, it really, really matters. Do not let this second one exist. Like, do not, please. Retweeting with a comment. So this doesn't mean you're commenting on their post. This means you're making a totally new post for your page with you as the author with their post below it. So it'll say, see now that I've already used it once, it shows up. I spelled it properly the first time, so it shows up properly the second time. So you don't have to type it out every single time. You just start typing it and there it is. So I'll retweet that and show you what it looks like on my home page. So it shows me posting, but also this other member. And you'll notice they're replying to a post. So it's interesting. You can comment on other posts, <coughs> and other people can retweet your comments from those posts. So let's go back here. Um, and now it's going to show me which post they commented on. So this is a news post and this member is just trying to bring more awareness from different avenues and that is totally okay. You can comment on anything you want with our hashtag to bring awareness. Just do not copy paste your posts. We don't want the same comment everywhere because it does show up as a post. Um, Okay, what else do I need to show you? Um, so now that I've already searched this, it shows up in my search bar easily. When we have a Twitter storm, something can happen. Um, you make tweets but if you tweet too fast, your account will be deactivated. So make one tweet, come look at the latest posts, put a heart on them all, and retweet. Um, see, this, this member is actually repeating. They're copy-pasting their post. So unfortunately, I don't think their post is going to count. No, it's not. It's the same post. So. I'm sorry if, you, oh no, <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry to this member if you are watching this, but I'm using you as an example. Do not do what this person is doing. Do not copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. You're doing this 10 times, guess what? It counts as one single tweet. You are not adding to anything for us. You're actually wasting your time. I am so sorry that I have to point this out. Anyways, so the appropriate way to do this is to go through and make your own tweets, make them all very unique, and retweet everyone. You're doing good. And as you retweet, if you see a new person that you're not following, make sure you follow them. Am I following? Sorry that this video is going to be long, but you're going to learn a lot here. See, she retweeted a reply. And so if I retweet a retweeted tweet, <laughs> oh man, let's see what that looks like. Um... Okay, so let's say it is coming up to Twitter Tuesday and we're about to do a Twitter storm. How do you prepare for that? You want to make 
a lot of tweets in advance and have them ready because sitting there typing out tweets is not fun. I'm going to tell you that much. So this is our Twitter storm. This is just an example of a very basic tweet. Um, how do I save this tweet now? Oh, wow. Okay, I learned something new and you get to learn with me. So, you can actually schedule your tweets. Um, right at 11 a.m. in Edmonton. It starts at 12 p.m. in Toronto. So, that's pretty cool. So, this one's drafted. It's ready to go. The blue button in the corner. So I can make a bunch of those. I could totally make a bunch of those. Prayers. So these are literally just thoughts in my head. It's whatever I want to say. I can start making sad stories. I can make videos. I can put pictures. I can put GIFs. Um, so let's look for a chip. I'm going to take Marco in this. Marco Mendicino. Now I'm going to schedule that one also for tomorrow. Um, I don't want to do it at the same time. We want to put like three minutes between every tweet so we don't get frozen. So that's totally cool. This account that I've just made can start working for me. Oh, that's how you save your tweets. Okay, so that one's scheduled. Um, made a tweet. This is just an example of how to make a draft. So if you want to save it, you can save it as a draft and then send it later. Um, so you'll open it and then look at your unsent tweets. And you'll see a list here. So see that one I scheduled? Apparently it ended up there. But that one's in there. This one's in here. If you click on it, you can tweet it. Or you can save it again. I taught you how to make a draft. Alright, let's show you how to comment on our friends' tweets. Because that also helps really boost what they're doing. So we're going to search for our hashtag. We're going to find one of our friends who made a post. Let's go a little further down. See, he has no comments. So the comments are on the left side. They're the little speech bubble here. You'll see this one has one comment. Most of them don't have comments. None of our members really talk to each other. Um, but it's really good to communicate with our friends. So I'm going to follow this one first. Did you know spouses applied for a Canadian visitor visa? Most of the time they're rejected. So I'm going to tweet my reply to them and say I'm starting to type and there's my hashtag. Okay. So this is my reply to Chantel. I have tweeted it. Now it shows up on their replies, but it also should show up on my thing. Yes. So on my homepage, it shows that I replied and who I replied to. So people can retweet my reply 
I can retweet my reply. I can retweet my reply with a comment. Um, it's kind of useless to retweet your own stuff. It really helps if other people retweet you. Um, you can also pin a post to the very top. So, okay, so you can only pin your own posts. Do you want to pin this to your profile? Yes. Um, it's really helpful to pin the posts that have maybe links to our petition or a really impactful video, things like that. So now I'm going to refresh and show where my pinned post went. Uh, is this the one I pinned? Yeah, okay. So now because I pinned this, this whole thing is showing up at the top of my profile. Um, Okay, here's my main profile, the one that I've been using a lot. So I changed my banner to the hashtag prioritize family sponsorship banner. If you need to know where to get those, please message somebody. We definitely have them. Um, another thing a lot of people have been doing is changing their name to the flags. Flag, flag. I'm in Canada and I love an Egyptian. You'll see my pinned tweet is a video that I uploaded and I tagged Justin Trudeau, Marco, and talked about the digital strike that we had. I also tagged a few other things. And you'll see that I've retweeted a lot of our members' things. I really love the ones with pictures, so if you can upload pictures, those are definitely going to be retweeted frequently. Everyone loves to see images on their profile. I really love Charles and his elephants. This is going to be epic on Tuesday. Um, yeah, so now you know some pretty basic things about Twitter. I'm going to upload this to YouTube and you guys can all watch it. If you have any more questions, let me know. I'm sorry that this is not the most organized or flawless uh, learning session that I've done, but it's not too shabby, I would say. <laughs> okay, we will see you on Twitter Tuesday for our major storm. Bring an umbrella!